and our first match has begun. And here we go. Education is one of the main pillars for Egypt Vision 2030. We have to change the curriculums. We have to adapt new strategies. We have to prepare a graduate who is ready to go into the market and be competitive. RoboCon is a two-week design challenge for students from across the globe to come together and learn how to design and build robots. But that's going to be heavy. Meeting different cultures from different nationalities, that was awesome. My team was like four nationalities. Each one has a different specialization. We were playing against each other and the team we were playing against, we were helping each other. I want to experience and learn how other students from all over the world think about their culture, how they, if they face a problem, how they think and how they solve it. I learned to be more flexible in team, letting students make faults and learn through this, uh, this faults so they can gain more experience. My design is about collecting rocks and putting the flag on. I designed the robot moves like a tank with a tank motion. Team communication was important and setting priorities as a team. And if we focused on only one task and then go to another, we may have won. You will lift and you will need something to put. Yeah. Like okay. This. I, okay. At the beginning, we hold something to grab the flag. It was not really good. So we tried to enhance our design and then enhance it again. And then we rebuilt a new better one and it succeeded. I can use my electrical engineering. I can make something in material engineering. Then I can study computer software and not stick to just one field. That's what I love to see more in Egypt. Blending different subjects in the course, so the, the, the student can uh, think in a wide way how to conceive idea, how to implement this idea, how uh, he can market the product in the market. MIT is known for a course 2.007. This is a course in which MIT students build robots very similar to the ones built in Robocon. What if you were to clamp it? I noticed that they are not teaching me students, but they are coaching them. Not giving them information, but they are giving them how to use this information. You need the three degrees of freedom of motion, so you can't scan for it. Before the competition, I always designed the stuff and didn't manufacture it. So I learned a lot how to operate the laser cutters, the tools, the saws. I use all of them just by my hand without supervision. This adds like more confidence for me. I am now able to go back to Egypt and face new challenges. Maybe I can join other teams, like racing team. In Egypt, education depends on theory. Your receiver should go on your robot. Here in MIT, you have many labs, so the professor can be a friend to the student. I hope to launch a small workshop in our university to decrease the distance among the professors and students. Outstanding. I'd like to thank USAID and MIT for giving me this opportunity. I learned here a lot of ideas to apply in my course. Instead of paper and marking, it will be a project and he will try to commercialize at the end of the course. When we came here, we knew that we are chosen to host the event in 2021. But we're thinking in the next year, we can do it for just the local students. Currently in Egypt, uh, we require the student to submit uh, a project to demonstrate the student abilities. At the end of the course, instead of submitting projects, they can submit this contest. So it's going to be quite a lot of fun. Now we've got a flag placement. They've been and it's on and they did place it. This is exactly what Egypt Vision 2030 is about. That's innovative. That's engaged internationally. We are trying to build and pave the way for the, for the new generation to have a new Egypt.